In tutorial number four, we're going to discuss the administrative or alert email that you can get from PowerMail for Joomla. I'm here on the control panel, actually I'm here on the user screen, and I'm going to click parameters, and we'll look for the general tab of the configuration, and here we have the alert email. This is a list of who's going to get um, the alert when an email is sent to your PowerMail for Joomla component. Here I have an email address there, and then right below we have a turn on or off uh, toggle switch here, yes or no, if you don't want to receive any emails. Um, you can put a list of emails here who should get an alert, and if no email is here and you have it turned on, it will go to the super administrator who has the uh, email capacity enabled under the user screen in Joomla. But for now, we're just looking at that just to check it. And now we'll go ahead and uh, send some new content uh, from a new user in particular. So we'll click over here, and I've got this set up already to send to the account that's enabled. We'll go ahead and send this HTML email, and there it goes. Now when we go back over to our PowerMail for Joomla, we can look at our account. It's set up over here to every one minute check that. Uh, to see if every one minute check the account that is when there's activity on the front of the site so I'll hit preview and there is our email it's already it's already been received it's not on the front page but it is linked to the latest news we click on that there you can see the article and um, now we'll go ahead and check and see what kind of emails we got here as the administrator I'll go to my inbox and here they are I've got uh, two emails from my website. The first one says that there's a new PowerMail user. Let's click on that. And it just alerts us the very first time someone who's never sent an email to the account um, that they have that you have a new user. So here we have our admin at Redbud Goats is our new user. And we'll look to see about our content. And here's our content email. This is the alert email that says, yes, here's a new PowerMail content to this website. Here's the title and there's the title, here's the author with his email address. He's not a power user, but it is published. Um, and then here's the article ID. This will become important if we want to do the remote publishing later or unpublishing. And then here's a direct link to edit your content. Here's the example, or actually everything that the email has in it. And so if you want to go ahead and edit it, you can, you can do that. We'll edit it and you go right into the, if you're logged in that is, you go right into the email itself, uh, the, into the uh, editor to edit it. And we can, for instance, change to a different category if we wanted or front page it. And we'll hit save. And after saving it, let's go to the front of the website. We just put it on the front page. So there it is. On the front page, we have the content of that email. Uh, so that's the essence of what the administrative email is for. It's primarily. Uh, meant for you to be able to see what kind of content is going to your website and there are certainly other ways to screen out people and whatnot but this gives you an alert so you know what about is going to your website what content and if you want to uh, take some uh, action against that email uh, to take the content down you can do that at a later date um, thank you very much